Welcome, everybody. My name is Thomas Lois. I'm the product manager for APM reliability, including our predictive diagnostics and smart signal product line. So today, what we want to kind of cover is how do we better understand what failures are covered using our predictive diagnostics technology and digital twin blueprints. And what we're kind of discussing is the value of after you apply your digital twin technologies, the idea is to catch these failures before they occur. But the importance is to understand what you can and cannot catch and what's not covered based on sensor availability of the assets. So using our diagnostic coverage report, you're allowed to better understand what items you can catch. Also importantly, where are there gaps due to sensor unavailability? And this really kind of leads to looking at the other pieces of the software around health strategy and other things to get better indications of your uncovered areas. This is applicable to any of our solutions using the digital twin blueprints. And the value is really to understand the failure modes that are covered using the twin technologies to be able to increase confidence in failure mode detection, but also allow for awareness of gaps today to be able to improve tomorrow. And then really knowing which sensors add the most value to your coverage. So what I wanna go into is a demo into the software. So as we are in our reliability maintenance application, we go into one of our individual analytical deployments from here. So we're gonna be looking at a pump example around here using a pump digital twin blueprint and looking at our G01097 asset. These are all of our blueprints tags that are part of it and the associated sensors that have been mapped to these locations. Once we click on the actions button and run our diagnostic coverage report, it's gonna look at it quickly to see what is built in that template of failure modes that we are aware of or what we could potentially catch based on our sensors that are available to us. And we can dig deeper into it, meaning am I fully covered? Am I partially covered here? So based on this blueprint, you know, there's 45 different failure modes that are built into it. And four of them that were fully covered in terms of our priority schema that's built into there. So priority five, four, three, two, one, and some of them are partially covered. If we dig deeper into one of these situations, and for example, open up our valve problem, recirc valve, or we look into an, you know, other recirc valve positions, we have mapped into here our minimum flow recirc valve position and recirc flow itself too. We're missing our valve demand. However, you know, from this diagnostic itself, it's gonna only alert to priority four and we're covered in the situation for what we need to do to be able to go into things further. If we look at an example, maybe where we're partially covered, for our local bearing problem. We have our vibrations mapped into here for our prox probes. In the box over here, the metal temperature is not highlighted in green, which means that that sensor is not available on this pump for whatever reason the case may be. Although with the vibrations, we have enough to at least detect the priority five, four, three, and two. However, we're not covered in a priority one. So this is really kind of leading to Am I missing the sensors on my bearing metal temperatures for some reason? Were they not available? Maybe there's something that needs to be added into here. And this is really where we can start looking at how to optimize things differently. But then the other important piece that we want to look at is where are we not covered in the first place? So if I click on our not covered location, if we open up the journal bearing cooling loss problem, so we could detect a potential bearing problem due to vibration issues, but based on sensor availability, we will never be able to detect a cooling loss problem because we don't have bearing metal temperatures information, and we also don't have our drain temperatures on our drive end of our bearing for a pump. So this is really kind of gonna help us better understand, do we need to bring this data in? Is this something that we're missing? Or if not, if we don't have a drain temperature, and maybe there's a local instrument gauge that you can look at the flow for the pump. This is where you could go ahead and look at operator rounds and make sure that you're doing a good strategy around how often are you forming operator rounds around different areas of your system. So really the value is applying the technologies, having the sensors available for you, understanding where you are covered, but also where you're not covered. So then you could help improve your digital technology strategy. Well, th thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please go ahead and feel free to reach out to any of your G representatives. Mm -hmm.